Welcome to Zindi. To sign in or sign up, click the sign in button in the top right hand corner. Since I already have an account, I will just sign in. To compete in a challenge, click on the Compete tab. You'll see a list of all active challenges. You can filter challenges based on prize challenges, community hackathons, or practice challenges, as well as for difficulty and industry. Use the difficulty filter to filter for beginner-friendly challenges. In this video, I'll be walking you through the first challenge you should compete on Zindi, financial inclusion in Africa. This is a practice challenge, which means there are no prizes and no end date. Perfect for learning. Your objective is to create a machine learning model to predict which individuals are most likely to have or use a bank account in Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania or Uganda. On the challenge page, you'll find important sections such as timeline, evaluation and rules. I recommend going through each of these sections carefully for every challenge you join to understand the specific requirements and expectations. Under the data tab, you can read about the data set provided and download the files you'll need to build the model. Zindi provides both a train and a test set. The train file includes various features along with the target column. You will use this data set to train your model. The test file has the same columns, but does not include the target column. This is what your model should predict. A sample submission file is also provided. This serves as a template where you will insert your predictions in the correct format before making a submission to Zindi. Please take note of the column order and column names or headers, and to ensure that there is no index column in your submission file. Additionally, a variable definitions file and starter notebook are provided to help you get started. The starter notebook contains example code that you can download and run to make your first submission. In a separate video, we'll go through the starter notebook in more detail. For now, I'll show you how to make a submission. Remember, you only need to submit code to Zindi if you finish in the top 10 on the leaderboard at the end of the challenge. If this happens, Zindi will send you an email requesting your code for verifications. To make a submission, use the sample submission file as your template, prepare a CSV file with your model predictions, then click the submit button. You can see how many submissions you're allowed per day in this section. Upload or drag your sample submission file to the box and click Submit, and your file will be scored. Once scoring is complete, you'll be taken to your Submissions tab, where you can view your final score. In my case, my score is 0.14. I can now search for myself on the leaderboard. And here I am. In prize challenges and community hackathons, you can go to the leaderboard at the end of the challenge and share your certificate. Here is an example of a closed hackathon where you can go, find yourself on the leaderboard and download your certificate. And you can view your certificate. Do share these on social media, especially your LinkedIn, as this adds to your professional portfolio.